The next boss to step into the spotlight was Joe Messino. He was the boss from 1991 to 2004. He was a very cautious boss. He was inspired by the Genovese boss Vincent the Chin Giganti. Vincent the Chin Giganti was known as the Chin because he made sure that whenever anybody referred to him in a conversation to point at their chin. The reason he wanted this done is so his name was never said so that his name could never be picked up on a wire tape, making it harder for the feds to bust him. So in Joe Messino's case, he had people point to their ears when they were referring to him. Joe Messino picked up the nickname The Ear because of this. Joe Messino took a lot of precautions in regard to security and the possibility of anything incriminating being picked up on a wiretap. He closed the long-standing social clubs of the Bonanno crime family as well. Joe Messino almost brought them back. He closed the social clubs. So it was no more weddings, no more funerals. We kind of brought them back. But as he brought that back, he also was the one to take them down. They had multiple captains flip. He also arranged family meetings to be conducted in remote locations within the United States. In some cases, he held meetings in foreign countries and had his capos bring their wives along so they could pass the meetings off as a vacation. Joe Messino was really paranoid after Joe Pistone had infiltrated the Bonanno crime family. Joe Pistone was an undercover agent that worked in the family for many years and took down a lot of mobsters. Joe Messino also made it a rule that if anybody wanted to become a made man, they would have to have a working relationship with the crime family for at least eight years. By doing this, he would have more trust for the person and bringing them into the family. By the end of the year 2000, he was known as the most powerful mafia leader in the nation. Joe Messino became known as The Last Don. The reason he got this name was because he was the only full-fledged New York boss of his time who was not in prison. So you can definitely say his paranoid tactics were working. But they only worked for so long. And in July 2004, Joe Messino was convicted in a murder and racketeering indictment based on the testimony of several cooperating made men, including his underboss that was also his brother-in-law. His name was Salvatore Vitelli. Joe Messino was the boss, the actual boss of the family. I testified against him in trial and um, in respect to gambling. And uh, he was the first guy to flip. He blew trial. He had eight bodies. Joe Messino was also facing the death penalty if he was convicted in a separate murder trial. But before this trial could ever be finished, he decided to testify against his former associates. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for both indictments in 2005. But another opportunity to testify was just around the corner. Joe Messino helped the government win a murder conviction against his acting boss, Vincent Basciano, in 2011. And in return for this, Joe Messino was resentenced to time served in 2003. 13, though he would be on supervised release for the rest of his life. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from my documentary series about the rise and fall of the American Mafia. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch each episode as they come out.